Welcome to this week's JBA Coach to Coach Video of the Week, brought to you by Netlink Sports, the preferred court provider of the JBA. While our country is in the process of reopening, we are all attempting to navigate our way towards a new normal. Although different regions have different restrictions and guidelines in place, something that seems to be constant and lasting is the emphasis on social distancing. While social distancing is not always 100% possible due to the unpredictable nature of sports, we as coaches have a responsibility to structure our practices in a way that allows for a healthy social distance whenever possible. We have introduced some easy steps to promote social distancing throughout our practices. These include staggered start times, spaced out bags, and social distance huddles. While those measures have worked well, we believe that we can go further and increase spacing during drills as well. In our passing movement and digging drills, we have added multiple contacts in a row and additional movements after contacts to facilitate spacing. We understand that while some athletes were highly motivated to maintain their level of fitness, being stuck at home for an extended period made that difficult to achieve. The additional movements, whether running, shuffling, bear crawls, or something else, help either achieve or maintain the level of fitness required for our athletes. In all of our drills, we have created smaller group sizes and tried to avoid having players waiting in line. When a line is necessary, we try to keep six feet between players in the line. If they're having a hard time remembering, we can add visual cues such as dots or cones. While we used to group players by position and train the same skill at the same time in the same space, we have started to spread out more across the court. Sometimes this just means putting different positions on the court, and sometimes it means training out of position or different skill sets. This includes a setter digging in a middle back or learning to serve receive. This is a great opportunity to do this because we are not preparing for a major event where we would be more position and team focused and we will end up producing more well-rounded players. If you are fortunate enough to have two coaches with a team, you can increase spacing by running the same drill on both sides of the net. If you do not have an assistant coach, you can set up another player running drills on the other side of the net or any open space to increase the amount of touches. We've had to emphasize physical distancing when rotating or switching groups because it is such a foreign idea in a gym. Instead of our attacking warm-up with hand contact and arm swing work over the net, we've started going sideline to sideline because it gave us twice as much room to spread out. Serving takes a bit more creativity to spread players out as there is only so much end line to work with. We've started having players experiment with starting further from or closer to the end line. In pass to attack transition work, we've added targets where we want our players to attack or defenders on the other side of the net to spread players out more and create more touches. During every water break, we send half the team to get a drink while the other half goes to one of the hand sanitizing stations we've set up on every court. After they're done, they switch. Thanks for watching. The rest of the video shows potential alternatives to the type of drills we have already discussed.
thank you for watching the JVA Coach to Coach video, video of, of the week. week.